What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Falcons Film Room with Coach Hank. Today, we're just going to take a deep dive look at that defensive stop on the first drive of the game. Let's go take a look. Okay, okay, let's take a look. Falcons defense, first and 10 from the 11, backs against the wall. Here we go, first drive for the Browns. This is where we talk about the bend, don't break defense. Those of you not familiar with that terminology, bend, don't break means you're breaking your defense, means you're giving up points, you're going. Bending means, you know, you give a little bit, but at the end of the day, you bend back and you hold strong. So the Falcons did a lot of that, you know, by keeping touchdowns off the board, holding them to field goals, four down stops inside the 10, inside the red zone. It was a good day. So let's take a look at this first drive after giving up all these yards, letting them, you know, knock on the door right here. We get a man coverage. We're going cover one right here. We have man, man, man. He's going to run in motion. He's going to go with him. That's how it's definitely going to give away, man. We're going to get a zone um, zone run over to the left side here. And let's see how we adjust. Good initial push. You know, the offensive line isn't getting a push. We have two guys about two, three yards in. We have the blitzer coming. It doesn't get a good angle on him. Doesn't get the block. We're able to make a tackle. So, great first play. Maybe they get a yard or so here. Let's take a look at it from the tight angle. Runs in motion with him. There it is. Good job by Evans to get up in there. He thought he was reading that block. He thought he'd have something there. He was going to cut back. Doesn't have it. Michael Walker does a good job off the edge. AK-47 does a good job staying home and squeezing down. All in all, good play. Here we go. All right, so this is one play I am going to take a deep dive into for those of you who help you understand a cover two defense, what the defense might be looking at, and how I think maybe they could be reading it. But then again, I don't like to say what they are and aren't doing right because at the end of the day, I'm not in that film room. I don't have the playbook. I don't know their reads. I'm just going off of very basic things and things that could have happened on this play as well. So I know you guys see a lot of bubbles here. You're like, what's going on? Here's what I could do with this. Here's our cover two. So we have Terrell responsible for this bubble right here. He's responsible for the flat. Hawkins back here, Grant, this half. You're gonna get a deep sink, okay? From this middle linebacker, he's gonna take away a deep inside route. And frankly, we're in the end zone, so you want him to take that away. This linebacker, hook curl zone. This linebacker, hook curl zone, okay? Now, with that being said, a lot of communication has to happen. All right, but let's go over the route combination. What we get here is a flag. We get an arrow route from our guy right here. We're going to get a post. We're going to get an in and we're going to get a drag sit right here. This is the route combination you're going to get. OK, so based off of the cover two, let's talk through it before we see the play happen okay terrell is responsible for the flat okay so his eyes he's reading one mainly but he knows this back he's got to get the back out of the backfield if it's coming this is the second receiver here but he can read and help with amari cooper because at the end of the day they always say give up the five dollars don't give up the twenty dollar bill right the twenty dollar bill in this case is the end zone route, the $5 bill, let him catch it up front, but you got to make the tackle. Over here in Juku as a post. So in a cover two, realistically, this guy's going out, this guy's going out. If this linebacker doesn't do a good job of sinking and reading and gets his eyes mixed up with the drag sitting route here, this is wide open. Okay. And maybe that's what they were looking for. But they're not going to get that right now. Okay. What we get here is Terrell. When you when I run the play, Terrell does an amazing job of taking away what Jacoby was reading off off the rip. Okay. He's going to get the corner out here. And Jacoby reads the cover too. He's up. He wants to go to Amari. 
but the way he sinks he knows it has to be a perfect ball or else Terrell's picking it or deflecting it because he's able to play both routes so you see how this route's going to end here this route's going to end here he does a great job of sitting in this area playing the cover two so he does a good job the back end is where i don't like how this play turns out okay um here like i said there could be a trips so it's tight end trips there could be a trips check that i don't know but it looks like cover two they play it kind of like cover two and this is where i'm just confused on the communication part of things or the matchup zone thing this cornerback okay he can read two to one what that means is if he reads this guy okay first the second receiver he's going to read him first because it's going to tell him what number one might be doing or if he just can snap his eyes to number one so that's why i call it a two to one read he's going to read two after he gets the read on two he's going to then be able to read one so this uh receiver's initial initial go is right to the drag route into the middle remember he's responsible for the flat so this is where you say once two goes east west or in this case and not east west because if he goes down to him if he goes to him he knows he's gonna have you know to start playing him and check what number one's doing he literally goes to the one place that allows him to stop reading him once he goes inside he does not have to read him or his eyes should snap to one now, I'm not happy with how Hayward played this because it actually makes no sense. I don't know what he feels or what he sees that at some point in this play, he almost takes a step this way to take away the deep third over here. And nothing is indicating going that way. He literally sees uh, number one run an in route in front of him. So what I'm saying is if he's covered two, he's just not letting him get an outside release and he should be hugging this in slant route and while hugging it, he should be communicating and yelling to Anderson in, in, in. Now, the next thing is Anderson, same thing here. He can read three to two. He's got this hook curl zone, right? Once he takes him up and lets him go by, it's either, okay, I know my middle linebacker because if he would have broke out this way, Grant's there. If he breaks this way, we have Evans there, which is what happens, okay? But instead, he gets deep here, and he doesn't carry this over. So if this takes him deep, and if he gets his head on a swivel and sees he doesn't sit here, he should just hug. Again, this is a perfect world. He should be hugging this route and telling our guy over here. I forget who we have over here. He should be telling him in, in, in. And while he's telling him in, 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 and pointing, Hayward would be yelling in, 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 and he would hear Hayward, and he can snap around and take away this. Again, perfect world, good execution, which great teams do, okay? It happens. It's not like, oh, this guy's just watching the film. Like, no, that's how you know the play was executed fully. You got a good defense. Everyone's talking and communicating. But we don't get that here, and it allows for a 9 yard gain and then we're in a third and one situation but again this has been don't break defense we do a good job after but let's just watch this play now and talk through it after i just gave you guys the rundown on how it's going to go down boom also the reason he's not in good positioning here is because he's now in la la land once the running back went out that's not his Amari Cooper, he should have had it, snapped his eyes to Amari Cooper. He would have saw Cooper went out. He should have been looking, flipping his hips, looking for anybody coming across to steal it. We're just slow on it. And they give a pass read right off the jump. So if they're reading the tackles, the tackles never gave a run read. This is what I mean? Here we go. Hayward. Everybody watch Hayward right now. Hayward's going with him. Ball's not even out yet. And now the ball's about to come out. And Hayward even takes a step back. Where are you going? Okay, not really interrupting the play. We can run it back now. Let's watch Terrell. All right, see how he's sit. He's not jamming him or anything. Thinking, oh, he was about to take it, but he's reading his eyes. It's zone. His eyes are in the backfield. He's running a flat corner route here, which helps Terrell. 
Once he sinks back, ooh, doesn't like it. He comes to read here, and now he's throwing it there. Okay. Let's take a look at Evans. Evans is right here in the middle. Watch him sink. Uh, and Juku takes him this way. He sinks with him. Maybe he bailed on this too early. Maybe he should have let Njoku go over the back of him. But he did. I mean, all in all, it was communication. I think we take this away. What I really don't like, though, is that there was no indication or anything that should have Hayward still over here. Hayward should have been hugging that. And if he would have hugged it and carried it more, maybe Anderson hugs and carries this more. And then there's really nothing there. And then the pass rush can get there. But all in all, that's all right. We'll take it. Third and one. We live to fight another day and stop him from scoring a touchdown. So here we are, third and one. Offense gets set quickly. They try to go with a quick snap. We weren't really set here, but watch Evans and Grant do a great job as well as the rest of the defense linebacking crew here. They do a good job of flowing over. Anderson does a good job of occupying Njoku here. That doesn't allow him to get to Evans, and that's why we're going to see Grant and Evans make a good job flowing over the top of this and taking away, you know, Chubbs Reed. Good job. We'll take it. All right. Here we are. Ben, don't break. Fourth and three. Let's see what we're made of. Up top, we have a tight twins look. Okay. Where Terrell and our safety are on different levels here. You don't want to be on the same level here because if these guys run crossing routes and you're manned up like they are, that's how we get those pick plays. We get tangled. But here's where the communication finally works it's also maybe an easy read but what they just go ahead they know before the play you take inside i take outside guy okay if they both go outside they know they got to both go outside and go over the top of the other one but either way there's clear communication before the play known known in the play because they're inside the five they are going to just terrell's going to take the first guy that goes outside uh it looks like grant i think is going to take the first guy coming inside over here we give a zone look where i think we're in zone here he's in this deep zone oops sorry he's in this deep zone over here he's sinking over here okay it's not true man the way they play in joku and because they actually keep in the other tight end here and they keep in the running back to block and then let's see our guy ak 47 get a good rush all right, bang. Here we go up top. See, outside, he's going in. That's it. Terrell picks him up. Grant picks him up with quick slant help from the outside linebacker. Here, we're just not going to let him go outside of us. Now we're passing it off to the safety. Here, I just don't like how they kind of both like don't really know who to give him up. If he was looking here first, maybe they're tighter to him. Maybe they're because it's zone. Obviously, like I said, it's a zone read here. Their eyes are actually to the quarterback instead of the man so that's probably why they saw he can't make the throw here so they let him go now ak gets a good rush but he just gives up outside leverage and this could have got dangerous and became a broken play could have became scramble drill where these guys got to find the closest man and just stay with them and run because right here he loses his footing and that's what allows Brissett to get up field and now be able to make a play. But all in all, we still recover. Bad ball over the top of the end zone. Turnover on downs. Let's go, Falcons. Let's take a look at his rush from this angle. Double team on Grady. AK right there. Just, just keep your feet. That's all. Just keep your feet. Let's not fall. All in all, great play. Give the ball to the offense.